There's some returns that happen. There's some deaths that happen, which kind of make you go, damn. But who um, cares? They're, they're, they're going to retcon the deaths anyways, like they always do. <laughs> Niggas oh, die and come back all the time in this shit. Well, Borg, if that's the case, you're going you're gonna to be annoyed with this one then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Somebody comes. So somebody comes back, bro. This movie going. That's, that's what I said. That's what I. Said. I mean, what's that? He said this movie sucks. That's that's what he said. Oh, I'm about to say yeah, bro. Don't don't. <laughs> well, okay. Why didn't you like it, Quiz? Okay. First of all, to the couple people that was in the Discord that was telling me like. Now, this movie is good. Now, if you suspend disbelief and you go with it with an open mind and you actually went to the movie with somebody, then you would actually like it. First of all, you're telling somebody on the panel, you're telling me, the guy that watched pro wrestling for two decades, <laughs> to suspend disbelief. <laughs> Do you realize how you sound right now? <laughs> what do you think we've been doing this I whole Somebody clip that shit. <laughs> The hell you mean to spend this week? That's all he knows. We all learned nope. wrestling was fake. But first, nigga, we learned wrestling was oh, fake after like within the first year we were watching it. Bruh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said you want me to suspend disbelief. I've been doing it. I've been doing it my whole life. Oh my God, bro. If y'all don't clip that, bro, I swear. <laughs> Yo. I've been telling me to spend disbelief in a movie where I literally watched a product where Big Show chokes in Kurt Angle off of a 30 foot scaffold to the death and be on SmackDown crying. the next week. Bro. Nope. Crying. Oh my. You're telling me to suspend disbelief when I watch the same product. Dad killed Kane in a limousine accident. And then he came back to life in the hospital. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me to suspend disbelief when I watched a product that saw Undertaker literally murder Paul Bear by concrete. <laughs> Really? You're <laughs> telling me to suspend disbelief in a Fast and Furious movie when I literally watched the product when I seen a grown man get his testicles electrocuted. <laughs> but I don't have an imagination to suspend disbelief. <laughs> I literally watched a fat man get set on fire Oh my god. But I can't suspend disbelief over a racing movie. Seriously? That Bruh. just had me so and had me so stumped. Like, really? If you suspend disbelief and you take the action scenes of how it is, then you can thoroughly enjoy this movie. <laughs> really? They forgot brain injury. Really? I seen a grown man getting killed by Undertaker when he was hung off hell in a cell. <laughs> he was supposed to be dead. But I can't suspend disbelief. But I was still invested in that product. The same product that literally watched a grown man get thrown into the Long Island Sound in heavy currents and should have drowned. But I can't suspend this belief. You guys get the point. Because I feel like I'm dragging it. But it's okay. Because that's like the biggest critique that I've got every time I said I didn't like it. You guys suspend disbelief. Dude, how else do you think we do it watching other movies? TV shows, reading storybooks, 
You know, we got to suspend disbelief. We have to have our own imagination to believe something in the moment that actually existed. If you have to do that to an extremity to where you're not even recognizing anything that's going on in the movie because everything is so far out, then you're not legit enjoying the movie. You're enjoying a fantasy to what you want the movie to be. It's not real. And that wasn't even why I didn't like Fast 10. It wasn't even because of, like, the action scenes. It wasn't because the overabundance of, without spoiling, the overabundancy of the characters and their performances. Too much. Now, it wasn't too much that I did not care for. It was just story. I didn't, like, I didn't care for story. I feel like there need to be more incorporation with the vehicles, like with the cars. And I did not like Jason Momoa's character in that movie at all. That whole setup with him as the antagonist and that lead up with it and his performance, I did not like at all. That was not really like a whole moment where I could just look back and just be like, damn, he had a good performance. What a heel. No. I can't get behind it. No. I mean, and this is coming from a Fast and Furious fan that actually watched the very first Fast and Furious in theaters back in 2001. Yep. And you're telling me, as a young Quest demand that was about six, seven years old, that he could not suspend disbelief. But at that same time, I still believed. I still believe <laughs> that that the rock could beat Brock Lesnar, but it didn't happen. I still believe. <laughs> so I said, "Quiz the kid." Bruh. <laughs> 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 Where's the kid? I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Y'all overhyping this just because it's fast, then. If you enjoy it, more power to you. <laughs> if you enjoyed this movie, a fast <laughs> period stuff. Oh, Hold no, on, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta get my Bruce voice on real quick. <clears throat> if you enjoy Fast and Furious 10, more power to you. I just couldn't get jiggy with this shit. I just could. Well, Fast and Furious Three was way, and I watched it the night before. Fast and Furious Three, Tokyo Drift, way better than this movie. Get y'all still hating on that movie, man. And I'll talk about, oh, we want more corporation with racing. Fast and Furious Three was literally like the last corporation of like full on street racing that you ever got in a Fast and Furious franchise. You don't get that shit again. You got it briefly in Fast Five, and then after that, it was a wrap. It's a case about you want more cooperation with racing and cars, but then you hate Tokyo Drift. Well, I, I will say, well, 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 well Quez, I, I just got to ask real quickly. I just got to ask real quick. Uh, do you know that this Fast Ten is the well? It, it's. It's the first movie of um, because they said these these next films are going to be like like the last of the story, and this was just part one of the story. Did did, did you know that going in? Yeah, I already knew. That. Yeah, I already knew that oh, was okay. surprising me on the way how the movie was going without spoiling anything, of course. So I wasn't surprised, but it was just more so like how they did it. It was kind of corny to me because. I get why they ended it in that way, but they didn't need to. Because there should have been more clarity behind it. I can say that. There should have been more clarity towards the ending. Before it leads up to the second movie. I felt like they I felt like Ryan dropped the ball with that. It should have been more clarity behind that. I get with a I get it with the cliffhanger, but it was just cheap. Like it wasn't fully drawn into it, you know what I mean? But that's just me. 
And by Man. the way, before anybody else goes, I need to read this off real quick because my phone processes notifications so late. Donations. 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 Big bank. Is Yep, some good bank right there, buddy. Shout out to Dominic Samuels for your continued support in the Cash App, dropping a 25 gas money ball into the um, Cash App, brother. We appreciate the dog so much for y'all. Continuous, continuous support to our show. Thank you. Salute. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Salute to Dominic, man. Yeah, for sure. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, but Mark, um, hey, uh, just, uh, you can watch it. You can let us know your thoughts on it next week. Um, hey, it, Okay, first of all, okay. Are are you a fan of of of, of the series, Mark? No. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm real, quick. Yeah, real quick. Sorry to cut you off. I just got on something. Oblivion. Yeah, you right. When choke when Kurt got choked something. Yep, yeah, his head was bleeding. Yep, yeah, and his leg got bent backwards. Ooh. <laughs> it, it, it did. It did Bro. get bent backwards. His leg got bent backwards, bro. He was in bad shape. And thank you guys all for comment. I usually keep a check with the comment section, but the show just been rolling. But thank you guys for tuning into the show and keeping the conversation strong throughout the show, man. We really appreciate y'all engagement and participation to the show. Quiz the kid. Yeah, I guess. So. Quiz the kid. <laughs> but, uh, but, 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 hey, but, hey, 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 future reference. All caps when you spell the man name. I, I'm gonna say that. Any power Thank said, but I blame Shad Mars for the hate Tokyo Drip gets. Oh come on, bro. We will. We won't leave Bow Wow alone, bro. No, it ain't Bow Wow. That nigga spell Snicker Bars on movies, bro. That nigga Twinkie ruined that shit, bro. Take this from the champion. That was so bad. That was let me hold you, Bow Wow. Jordans. He sold a broken iPod and he got beat up for it. <laughs> so, he sold Snicker bars. <laughs> Yo. That dude was the cheapest. <laughs> he did do that shit. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to kind of Snickers, don't she? You know, bro. Motherfucker named Twinkie trying to sell sneaker bars. Not, <laughs> but, but no, but you're right, man. So, I, as someone, I because before fast and I actually watched all the other films leading up to it. Um, one, watching the first film is crazy compared to how it was then to now is it is absolutely jarring. Um, Tokyo Drift is underappreciated. Hell, the fourth film is actually underappreciated. Now watching it again, um, my favorite is still Fast Five. Personally, what, what was that called? If people didn't like Fast Four, I'm not gonna they argue them. Instead. They didn't back then. Yes, they did. No, I, I, I no, I, that's what I said. Like they did, they, they did not like it back then. Yeah. Yeah, they thought fast. Yeah, they thought they thought they thought fast four was like, oh, it's over. Like it's over, and that's what they originally. That was the first one where they brought everybody back. <laughs> but once Dwayne got involved, he's like, he's like, all right, all right, all right. I got say, I got to say this franchise, which he did, and I know that kills him, G. But uh, but um. He did. And I, oh, another thing too, uh, just real quick on the basketball thing. I really wish MG was here because MG is a notorious Nikola Jokic hater, and I would really like to know his thoughts on Jokic uh, nowadays since he's been balling all these playoffs. Um, but um, I but yeah, also hear since the Celtics didn't get swept tonight and they won. That too. That too. But yeah, but Mark. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think you'll have a good time. With it, um, especially if you're a casual Fast Furious fan, uh, you're not really familiar with the story and characters like that. So, um, yeah, just let us know what we think last week. Uh, uh, Arlo, where are you at on the Fast Furious films? Are right, you gonna see this new one? All right, so, um, 
I will say this though, that entire movie's not lost. The only consistently like great parts of the movie, and I still can't believe it. Believe it or not, the only solid parts for me for that movie was Cena scenes. Yeah, with Don's, yeah, with uh, with his nephew. I, yeah, I I couldn't believe him. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, those scenes with his, with Dom's nephew, with, with his nephew, uh, but they were very sweet. They, 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 they were very sweet. Like, like that, and the one chase that he was in, bro. Like, seriously. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, mm-hmm. and then when he popped up, and then when he popped up earlier in the movie, they're like, bro. 